Good morning. It's kind of a, a cloudy, rainy day, but it's still nice. So um, I hope you all are enjoying this time. I know some of you have time off, or at least coming up, you have some time off for Thanksgiving. We have family coming. It's an exciting time, but sometimes it's also a very stressful time, okay? And I've been talking to people, and a lot of people are really stressed right now because we've got so much stuff going on. You know, we have, we have the COVID, so some people have, like, isolation stress going on. A lot of people have financial stress going on. Um, and it's just, it's compounding on top of the stress that we already had prior because of family, work, you know, responsibilities, all of those things. And so it's just, it's, it's compounding and it's compounding and it's compounding. And I want to talk to you today about how we take care of ourselves and why we should, even when it feels like we have too much crap to do. Okay. Um, I know sometimes as a mom, I would tell myself that, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this right. I'm not doing the whole mom and wife thing right if there's laundry in a basket in my living room. Um, I would tell myself that, you know, if my kid had to ask me to bring him a pair of shorts, oh, I'm not doing my job because I didn't get that put away and whatnot. I know, ridiculous, right? Um, if there's dishes on the counter, I'm not doing my job right. If the dinner isn't exactly what everyone wants and I get groans when I put it down, then I'm just not doing as good as I could be doing, all right? And, and then, the, oh gosh, if I can't answer the 2.5 million questions that I'm asked on a daily basis without getting upset, then I'm not doing my job right, okay? And those are the lies. Those are the lies I told myself, okay? And I feel like those are the lies a lot of us tell ourselves. You know, moms, dads, spouses, you know, kids of adults, children of parents who need you, okay? There are so many things where we just don't feel like we're doing well enough in these situations, okay? And that causes us to get overwhelmed. It causes us to become more and more anxious. And then you start getting angry, okay? You're angry at everyone and you don't know why, okay? Been there, so angry, and I couldn't figure out why. Why am I so angry? Why am I getting so impatient, okay? Why can't I just listen to the story about Roblox <laughs> without getting upset? You know, we become impatient. And for me, eventually, all of that stress and lack of, of taking care of myself, because if I took care of myself, then I couldn't take care of X, Y, Z, and the 10 million other things on the to-do list, because I just wasn't as important as the rest of the to-do list. And that's... That's what we're telling ourselves. You're not as important as the laundry. Say that out loud. Say, I'm not as important as the laundry. Okay? Or, I'm not as important as the dishes. Okay? When we say that out loud, it's ridiculous. Okay? You are more way more important than the laundry, than the dishes, than satisfied customers at every single meal, okay? You are more important, all right? That to-do list, what should be at the top, at the top of that to-do list is you, okay? It took me, I, I've been married for eight years, had a child, he's 11 now, and it's taken me until recently to realize that. that I am the top of that to-do list because 
if I'm not at the top of that to-do list and I'm not feeling well and I'm exhausted and I'm not fueled properly and I haven't slept well in forever and my body is just deteriorating, I'm not gonna have the patience. I'm not gonna have the patience for the 2.5 million questions on a daily basis. I am not going to have the patience to deal with the groans at mealtime. I'm not gonna have the patience or the fortitude to deal with math homework, okay? Like, we can't do it if we're not first on that to-do list, okay? Moms, dads, spouses, adult children, taking care of your family. You have to be the top because how long do you think you're gonna be able to do this successfully if you're not taken care of, okay? It's what I did. I did for, for 10 years putting everybody else first and my body shut down. Ended up with autoimmune diseases because of it, okay? It shuts you down. Your body cannot run 24 seven, nonstop on low crappy fuel and be able to handle everything that life throws at you for much longer. Okay, you just can't do it. That's right, Christine, you fill your cup first so you can fill others, okay? Your cup isn't full, you have nothing to pour from, okay? I realized finally, and I really pray that you realize that time for me and taking care of me is essential, essential to the success of my family, okay? If I put the laundry down and I go take a bath and I soak and I take care of myself, then the next day when I'm dealing with math homework, I'm gonna have more patience and I'm gonna be able to get through it I'm going to be able to help because I took care of me. But if I didn't take that bath, if I instead pushed through and made sure I did all of the things, then the next day when my kid asks me about his math homework, my response is going to be, ugh, again, can't you just get this? Okay? And, and, and you know, you've been there most likely, whether it's with a kid, or with your spouse, or with your parents, or, or with work, okay? Even work. If you're not taking care of you and you have this dream, this goal to be the best you can be and be successful at whatever career you have chosen, but you're not taking care of you, it's not going to be that easy and eventually you're going to burn out, okay? So self-care, taking care of yourself, all right? Put, the laundry is always going to be there, okay? The dishes are always going to be there. That job is always going to be there. But if you don't take care of yourself, are you? Are you going to always be there if you're not taking care of yourself? And even if you are there, are you going to be there at your 110% best if you're not taking care of yourself? Whether that's fitness, nutrition, self-care, taking a stinking bath, or sitting down and reading a book, having the children go play in their room with the door shut while you relax and watch a show for you, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? You need to take care of you so you can take care of them, okay? So, I wanna get off my high horse now. Self-care, helping them to be independent just for a little while so you can, can do you, do what you need to do to take care of you. Get some exercise in, all right? Whether that's a walk for 30 minutes by yourself with some fresh air, whether that's a few minutes in your room, or like my husband, his self-care has to be at the gym. He needs that alone time and I give that to him, okay? Because I want him to be at his best for us, okay? So get that for you too. And what, what are you fueling your body with? Okay, are you fueling your body with something that's gonna help you, sustain you, and help your mood be great? Or is it gonna pull you down and make your mood be worse and your patience be less? Okay, husbands and wives, work together. Sit down together, okay, and say, you're important. 
and I'm important, and I want to make sure that we both get self-care. So how can we schedule this? And put it in your calendar if you have to, all right? Schedule your self-care. Talk to your spouse. Get that in there, all right? If you're single, it's still important. Put that in the calendar, okay? Get that in there. Take care of yourself. If you don't think you have time, you do. Just let the laundry be for a day. Let the dishes be for a day, okay? Don't do the dishes, there's 15 minutes. Take the 15 minutes, okay? You deserve that, you are worth that, and you need to be above the dishes. So that way you have the patience and the health and the fortitude to keep taking care of your families, okay? So that's my high horse for the day. <laughs> if you are ready to start taking care of yourself, whether it be you need to have a pep talk or you need to have help with your fitness uh, program or you need to have help with nutrition and choosing the right things, okay? Message myself, message my husband Sam, and we would be happy to help you with that, okay? Right now we have a ridiculous, ridiculously low cost plan. Uh, it's Black Friday, everything is 50% off. So what was already ridiculously low is even lower. Okay, so just message myself or message him Black Friday or just, hey, had some questions about what you offer. Go ahead and do that for us, okay? All right, you guys. I want you to seriously look at your to-do list today and figure out how to put yourself on the top of it, okay? Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.